Hey, what's good, people? So it's been uh, it's been a while since my last video, longer than I would have liked, but you know, you know how things go sometimes, and things have been hectic, to put it mildly. Just a crazy circus world we're living in right now. And just wanted to check in here, let you guys know, give you a little bit of an update that I do still fully intend to keep this channel active, very active, more active than it's been it's been lately, certainly. <clears throat> and just hope you guys are doing well, staying sane, staying healthy. Not for the reasons that most people think or from the perspective that most people approach it from anyway. I'll put it that way. Just know that all of this is just pretty much a charade. It's pretty much a pandemic. I think that's pretty good. It should be pretty glaringly, blatantly obvious to anybody who's really paying attention and seeking out alternative sources of information that doesn't involve mainstream, so-called mainstream news. Just don't give in to the fear, don't give in to the anxiety. I know I've had my moments over the last, you know, month or two, and it's just, it's stressful for everyone, man. It's just a big, it's just a big turd. It's just a big piece of crap. I mean, what do you want? You have a bunch of incompetent retards, you know, in positions of authority and decision-making positions. And I do believe that there is a good amount of nefariousness sprinkled in there. What is good to see is people are on to Bill Gates. People are catching on. I do believe wholeheartedly that there are a lot of people catching on, waking up as they call it, becoming woke, oh god, please don't, I hate that word, anyway, to the agenda, right, whatever the agenda is, and it's hard to, hard to really pin it down and say exactly what it is, but it's just more about control, it's not about public health and safety and security and all that horse crap, that's the justification that tyrants use to herd the cattle, so to speak. It's all just a big freaking game. It's a big game to them, to the people on the top, to the really influential ones. Now, I do believe that there is, for the most part, the system, quote-unquote, you know, what, what people call the system is mostly just manned or womaned by people who, and these are people in the authority, the, the pseudo-authority positions, as I call them, the decision-making, the policy-making uh, positions, the majority of them are just imbeciles and they're just incompetent. They don't understand human health. They don't understand... They, they don't understand much of anything, really. And it just... It really does astonish me how these people end up in these influential positions that they're in. Well, I feel bad for people who are having kids now. I feel bad worse for the kids uh, who are going to be born into this sort of mess. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. I tend to have more of an optimistic outlook than most. I don't give in to pessimism. I do like to think that I'm a realist, and uh, with an optimistic sort of spin on things, I do get pessimistic sometimes. There are times where I just get fed up. I mean, I've had plenty, I've had my moments, like I said, over the last couple of months with all this bullshit going on, where a biblical level flood to just wash everything away, just like a big enema, you know? I think the earth could use that right now. Just wash away all these turds. And, yeah, that's it. So, that's all for now. I didn't really want to come on here and talk too long. There's so many things I could touch on and talk about, but just know, if you're addressing your health properly, if you're, if you're living right and eating right and all this sort of thing, get outside, get the sunshine, get the fresh air to the best of your ability to whatever is available to you wherever you live, whatever your circumstance is. So like I said, just do the best you can in your given circumstance. And that's really it. Don't give in to the fear. If you're living right, eating right, etc., etc., you have nothing to worry about in terms of a stupid virus. I'm really worried about the... I'm much more worried about the virus with uh, two legs, you know, four limbs and a head and a torso that walking around than this so-called... I won't say the name of it. I think we all know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's it for now. 
nothing too tropic driven today just wanted to get on here and give a bit of an update like i said so anyway i'm gonna shut up now hope this finds you all well let me know how you're doing in the comments interact a bit it's good to interact with all of this social distancing about and people acting all retarded even more retarded than usual i didn't even think it was possible at one time but here we are a little off the cuff video for you, quick one, or relatively quick. Hope you're all doing well. And like I said, interact in the comments a bit. I'd like to hear from you guys. So I'll talk to you soon. That's it. Peace.